What is up everyone? We are back here with episode number 15 and what we are gonna do today is they just released the update for the baby dinos and all that kind of fun stuff. So I'm gonna do kind of like a little, I don't know, guide on making babies and all that kind of stuff as I figure it out. So first thing you're gonna want to look at is because I definitely tried to do it with car nose and it didn't work, is you're gonna look at the bottom corner, your bottom right corner. It doesn't say anything there, so that means that they can't be mated yet. So I'm going to go over to him, and you'll see Enable Wandering to Mate. So you have to set them on Wander together uh, for them to mate. And it doesn't have anything special there. Want to know something cool? The Sarko can do it. I want a baby crocodile. But anyway, I've kind of got them set up over here already. I threw two Stegos in here. Uh, the old Titanoboa pen which is now going to be a breeding pen and what I've realized is see how that's the mating process or progress here if they break too far of a distance which can right there see only right here he broke the distance I think it's just bugged at the current time um, but what I did notice you can't make them follow or anything they have to stay on wander but what you can do see now he's not even mating anymore because this is too far away evidently but what you can do is I'm gonna get on him come on turn 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 alright I'm gonna get on him and I can actually just walk him right to up to him and kinda trap him and see how the hearts are beating so they're now mating and it's in progress so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sit on this guy until her progress bar goes all the way up and uh, I think then we get an egg that we can fertilize or something. Uh, but we'll cut to then and uh, we'll see you then. Alright everyone, they have mated and I've got the egg. And I'm kind of running because... Where's my bird? Okay, there's my bird. We need to take it indoors because it's losing some health. I'll show you when we get there. Um, we want it to incubate at the right temperature. So I want to get... Well, I'm out of the heat now so it might be okay. Let's see how it's doing. So we go into here, I've got all my paints right now. So we've got egg health is there. Uh, I don't know. Let's see, let's go inside and see if it starts incubating. I think I might have to drop it. Oh, there we go. And we can see an egg incubation thing now. And I'm going to hope that uh, sitting... Oh, it's too cold. It says right above it, it's too cold. So I need to get to some heat for this thing to incubate. And we're near the swamp, so... Uh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, super lag. Let's find a hot spot. Usually this swamp is always hot. Okay, it's hot. I'm gonna land right here. It's nice and safe-ish. Go away, dragonfly. Okay. And then I'm gonna drop it. Oh, okay, look at it. It's like glowing. Oh, it's too hot now. Okay. Get back here. Alright, we're gonna go back up, where it's a little less hot, I suppose, and see if it incubates, like, right here. And it's too cold. Wow, this is a finicky egg. This is, this is really annoying. <laughs> to try and find the right temperature. Uh, I'm gonna try, like... I guess I can look at my inventory. It'll show us the temp. Right here, it is 17 degrees. Let's try here. It is too cold in 16 degrees. I'm gonna go here. Get a little bit closer to the heat zone. 16... Okay, and it's getting hot right here. All the way up to 32. And it's, I bet you it's going to be too hot mm. now. 
too hot. It's like cooking and glowing and stuff. Alright, well, I'm gonna find a good spot for this to incubate, and we'll be right back. Alright, and we're back, and I found a good temperature range. It looks like I'm gonna kinda just have to sit inside and do this. Uh, it doesn't have to be inside, I could be outside right now, but... It looks like the temperature range for the Stego egg seems to be around 18 to 28-ish. That's about where it seems to incubate. So once it's incubating, you'll get this little reading that shows incubating right there. And this egg incubation takes a very long time. Also, when the egg is on the ground, the health seems to deplete, but if you pick it up, uh, if the temperature range goes out of scale, so if it's not going to be 20 degrees anymore, if it drops down to like 16 and it's not incubating anymore, you just want to pick it up and the health won't drop anymore. So I'm going to let this go all the way out. It's going to take forever and uh, we'll be back when it's done. What is up everyone? And we're back and I've got them in front of the grill uh, because it's a little bit too cold over here. It's only 13 degrees and then in front of the grill they're able to keep going. So this one's incubating, it's our stego one, and then I've got a raptor one going, but this one's about to hatch. Look at that. It's so close. It's a dodo egg. It's going to be such a cute little dodo. Uh, but I've also got a turtle one that I keep taking in and out. If you look at the bar he I don't want to miss it hatching. If you look at the bar here, that'll show your incubation current time. Uh, the health doesn't go away when it's in your inventory, so pick them up if they're not in And look at that! He just hatched! Oh my god! Imprint him! Okay, look at this, look at this. Let's name him. Look at how tiny he is! He needs food. He needs food fast. We've got all kinds of food. Let's give him a bunch of potatoes. Oh my god! Look at him! His inventory is so small. Eat, eat, eat! Oh, and so now he's maturing. Oh my gosh. So you can only put so much food in him at a time. So you gotta keep, like, feeding him. Aww. That's all I can think of. He's so cute. Alright, so these ones are gonna keep incubating. And these ones are gonna be just as cute as this guy. Oh my gosh. Alright, well, that's about all you gotta do. Uh, you, I went from the mating to the egg part to this, the hatching part. So now he's gonna mature into a fully grown dodo bird. I gotta keep feeding him. Gotta stay right next to him and feed him. But anyway, if you like the video, please hit the thumbs up or subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna release a part two when these other guys hatch, but I definitely wanna get this one out so everyone can see how this works. Uh, so look around for that part two. I might release that tonight or, I don't know, tomorrow. We'll see. But, uh, We'll catch you next time.